You should see how many times I've dropped my phone. Look at how it is. He's, he's standing. <laughs> my name's Kayla Vonderheide. I am your urban take on the modern, confused Indiana Jones and Slash Door Explorer. And I think I'm going to take you to Brown Canyon, which is a personal favorite in this area, best kept secret, if you will. But me and Bodhi need to go for a hike. And there's some really cool ruins in this direction, and I want to show it. So hopefully the museum's open. Um, I know Brown Canyon has a lot of the history on the actual inside of the cabin. We'll get to go in there, which will be really awesome and fun. And um, it'll be a great, more more enjoyable time, I think, than going all the way to Gleason. I will go to Gleason when I get back from Utah. This I think this trip today needs to be a little bit more chill and um just because I'm going to be packing and finishing homework tonight, and not that I don't mind a really long day adventure. i just going to be doing those a lot this week with going to Utah. Um, I'm going to be driving out to California, which is a nine-hour drive, and then from there, I'm driving with my grandma out to Utah, which is another eight, eight or nine-hour drive. So... I'll probably show some of that. I think it would be fun to get a lot of my family in it as well because, you know, for as much as I'm doing this YouTube thing with the intention of sharing with more viewers, um, I also have the intention of just filming these for my memory and kind of don't really care about the view. A big reason why I would like to have some of these things documented is for my own damn joy you know so yeah here we go so you might hear some sounds of cicadas coming out it was june in southern arizona this is uh, gonna be around ramsey canyon the Huachuca mountains and I think it's also part of the Coronado National Forest. Bobby, where are we gonna go? It's really cool because there's all these houses back here. I would love to live out here, to be honest. Spaced out and beautiful. So you go off the path a little bit and on this dirt trail, there's some warning signs for smuggling and illegal immigration. <laughs> That's what you see. It's kind of a cool thing to show because you never see that in California. It's already really hot, so we're going to try to hike here early. Oh, Buddy just pooped. Buddy loves this. This is what the forest looks like back here. Scratch mark. Ooh. One of the show the cicada sound. But they're shouting men coming. How dirty. So this would have been their yard at this ranch that we're going to. We should live here. It's right up there. Almost there. So this plaque just talks about the different families that lived here. The first reported settler in Carr Canyon was James Jimmy Carr, an early Cochise County entrepreneur. In Carr Canyon, he operated a lumber mill and built the Wachuca Mill Toll Road, one of the first toll roads in Cochise County. And then in 1887, Robert Todd 
moved into the canyon and established a home where he would live for the rest of his life. Mrs. Todd sold the ranch to her son and her daughter, Lieutenant Colonel John and Ela Healy. In June 1936, John Healy and his wife, Ela, acquired the ranch. John Healy was an army officer at Fort Huachuca where he commanded mainly African Americans or Buffalo Soldier quote unquote units. While at the Car Canyon Ranch, Ela became known as an active outdoors person, leading lion hunts and collecting biological specimens. Mrs. Healy sold the property to the Forest Service in 1972. So here's the old, here's the old ranch house. It's a very big property. This flies. Well, that's a little spooky. So I'm doing a photo shoot out here. This place, I know that it was John and Ela that lived here. The last couple that lived here in the 1930s. Um, it later became like a healing center for children that have asthma and breathing problems. There's people doing photo shoots here. Whoa, silly! Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> Interaction. <laughs> they're so cute. This is the actual car house. So we're here in the old car canyon house. It's now a museum. Bodies in my back. <laughs> it was a good little hike. There's calcite, pyrite. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look though. Old kitchen. <laughs> so that was really nice. There was a lot of people <laughs> around, so I didn't really feel like talking to myself too much. But I'm gonna head to Brown Canyon next. Though. And my boots. So yeah, I hope you don't mind me looking like super cozy in this video. This is normally what I'm wearing. I'm not usually in dresses. This is Brown Canyon Ranch. Um, it's a very beautiful area. Let me show you. Moments they are in my mind at night. I'm dreaming of First time I saw you There were times when love was for us, yes But I would like to know you a little bit better I'm a lot of pee stops. There's a really cool front porch. Mm -hmm. 
enter here. Me and Bray have done this Come on. quite a few times. So here we go, some information about Brown Canyon. Brown Canyon was named for John T. Brown, who brought his family to live here in the canyon around 1880. The family consisting of his wife, Mary, and their children, Charles, James, Mary, Floyd, Maud, and Royal. Whew. Nothing better to do in this time. Brown had been a rancher, woodcutter, farmer, carpenter, and hotel keeper. Their cattle operation included a contract to supply Fort Huachuca with beef. Their house was the first in the East Huachuca area to have running water with a kitchen sink, bathtub, and basin. The house also had two fireplaces. The large living room was often used for weekend dances. An adobe storehouse was built directly north of the ranch house. In April 1921, a family feud between Jim and his brother Dick reached a peak. During an argument about the ownership of cattle, Jim shot and killed Dick. Jim stood trial, was found guilty, and was sentenced to prison in Florence. Jim sold the ranch soon after he was convicted. So here's the Haverty family. Sounds like, so here's all the children. And, um... Seems like there's some family drama. William Carmichael not only bought the house and ranch property from Jim Haverty, but also his cattle. No doubt his main motivation for acquiring the ranch was that, like Haverty, Carmichael held a contract for providing beef to Fort Huachuca. Oh, buddy, what you got on your nosey? <laughs> While that First, Granny became very tame and became one of Roy's favorite cows. She was three-fourth Brahma with one horn up and one horn down. Oh, she's so cute. Roy and the Barkas kept every calf she ever had, many of them in the beginning of a chain that continues to this day. Granny Cow lived on the ranch at Brown Canyon as queen of the herd as long as she lived, dying at the age of 23 from cancer of the horn. Aww. It's definitely a cattle ranch. Very, it's all these different families lived here. It went to the Rambo family. Let's see. It's cuter with Bodie in it. <laughs> Barbara's ranch. Summer 96, that's what it looks like. Looks the same. This is the old kitchen. Bless you, it's okay. We have both have allergies so bad right now, huh, though? I didn't bring my guitar. I would have sang in here. I've done many songs in here before. It's a beautiful building. This room is my favorite. And this is where a weird thing, a fun fact, is I have the same blanket in my house. Come on, Bo. Come on. Yeah, I just would say if you come here, be very respectful. Don't take anything. Make sure the doors are shut. Don't move anything and come enjoy it and donate. This place needs love and donations. Look, really cool little. There's the front porch area. I think all these trees. This turns into a pond during the monsoon season. 
the stable. Back there, there's a trail. Are you okay? A trail that goes all the way back. There's been some rattlesnakes that I've ran into back there. So it really takes the snake precautions seriously. <laughs> yep. I love this wraparound porch. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna head home. So, that is a very ambitious woman running in the heat. Bodhi, you ready to go? So let me know if there's anything I should see in Utah while I'm out there. And um, also if you know any more stories about like personal stories or anything that you've heard of about Brown Canyon or Car Canyon, um, I would love to hear it. I don't know everything about these places and I'm still fairly new to Arizona. So would love to hear it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. and. Um, I just appreciate it. I know that I'm not like the typical YouTuber format of like bouncing around and hyperness. <laughs> I don't know what that even means, but um, it's just my own thing in my own little world. And thank you if you do watch. So, and if you come to these places, be respectful. There are places that I think I'm going to do coming up that I don't want to tell where they are just because I don't want, you know, any drama happening in these places. But um, the places that I do recommend and share on YouTube are places that I think need, you know, they need the donations and they need the love and to keep these places going. So come out if you can to these places and enjoy them for yourself and leave a, leave a few bucks and have a good time. <laughs> Be respectful, please. And thank you for watching.